Hello everyone, the Legacy Instructional Series team is here today to explain the differences between lag pips and lead pips in Star Citizen. We will focus only on the difference between them in an effort to help you make your own decisions about them. We will not delve into explaining how the pips function or the projectile mechanics in Star Citizen in general. The LIS has a few guides on the subject, one of which is linked in the description. First, mechanically, there is no difference between lag pips and lead pips. We're going to explain this very simply. Here you can see a representation of the target and your gun cross. Projectiles fire in a straight line in the direction of your gun cross. The pips represent your ship's calculation of how much you need to lead your target and in what direction based on various factors that we will not get into in this video. Here's a representation of a lag pip. Here's a representation of a lead pip. Together, you can see that mechanically they represent the same amount and direction of lead. In other words, whether you center your shots using lag pips or lead pips, at any given moment, your nose will need to be in the same place for both options. One mode does not use any more prediction than any other mode. If you disagree, please create a video showing this and send it to us so that we can update this guide. Also, put it on the issue council because it is certainly a bug. Now, mentally, pilots may still have an easier time aiming with the lead pips in certain situations. With lead pips, instead of trying to put the moving thing attached to the thing you control onto the other moving thing, you only need to put the thing you control onto the moving thing. But, again, the same amount and direction of lead is used in either case. If you take away the pips, your gun cross is still firing from the same location. Using lead pips may be easier to understand initially, but with even just a little practice, lag pips make just as much sense. So which should you choose? Our opinion is that since mechanically the two aiming options are identical, both methods are viable and, for most pilots, you should stick with the one you prefer. That said, if you are truly ambivalent, we recommend choosing lag pips, and there are three reasons why. All three reasons hinge on the only true difference between lag pips and lead pips, where you are physically looking as you aim. For lag pips, you are looking at your target so that you can drag your pips onto it. For lead pips, you are looking at the lead pips, which are offset from the target, in his direction of relative motion. First, aim corrections. The pips will never be fully accurate, so while in combat, pilots should use the pips to create an initial aiming solution, start firing, then look at their target, watch where the projectiles fall relative to the target, and then correct in that direction. This necessity becomes more apparent at high relative velocities and accelerations. For lag pips, you are already looking at your targets, so this transition is easy. For lead pips, you will need to switch your gaze from your lead pip to your target and then possibly back again so that you can account for what you can't see easily by looking at your target, like his relative speed changes. So you'll need to switch back and forth. Some may argue that this means the pips should be more accurate. We won't delve into this discussion because it is complicated and off topic but the short answer is that players should not expect the pips to somehow become more accurate anytime soon. Second, component targeting. With lag pips, you can currently target certain sections of ships by dragging the lag pip over that section, firing, and then using the aim correction method described previously. This is currently much more difficult with lead pips, which only lead for the center of the targeted vessel. This becomes even more problematic against larger ships like Constellations. There is the possibility that CIG will add the ability to target specific components in the future, which would then render the lead pip to hit those components. The only issue with this is that you'll run into the same problem when it comes time for aim corrections. It's very unlikely that the targeting computer solution for the component will be accurate right out of the gate, and you'll need to adjust based on where your shots fall, which again will be difficult because you won't be looking at your target. Third, situational awareness. While dogfighting, seeing what the enemy is doing and reacting to his decisions is incredibly important. Again, with lead pips, your eyes are not focused on your enemy but on the lead pip, so you may not be able to see him, for example, rotate to burn away as quickly as if you were using lag pips. All three of these factors can be mitigated by using high-velocity weapons, keeping your vector aligned with that of your target, and staying in close range. Basically, anything that decreases the distance from the pips to the target which would allow you to more easily see all of these things even if you were using lead pips. But it is safe to say that overall, using lag pips gives most pilots a slight advantage. So which should you choose, lag pips or lead pips? Again, we advise that you simply use whatever feels the best to you. Or choose both. Remember that you can bind a hotkey that swaps the pip type at will. But if you truly have no inclination, lag pips are the safe choice for most pilots. That's it for this video. 
Please let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments below. And remember, fly safe.